When I interview HR professionals for Job Search TV and for No BS Job Search Advice Radio, because they have a book out or they're promoting something, they often laugh when they hear me say, job descriptions are 80% accurate. And they laugh and say, if we're lucky. And what that tells me is the job descriptions that you are issuing and the process by which you are evaluating people is out of whack. Now, I understand how that happens. Someone gives notice on a Friday afternoon. You call up your HR business partner and you say, you got that job description we used to hire Jeff? Well, he just gave notice. And um, could you use that description, get it out to the recruiters uh, that you work with, put it up on the website? You know, you lay out a bunch of criteria and then say, and get back to me with who you can get onto my calendar on Tuesday. You don't take the time to update it, let alone re uh, review it. So, you know, I'm going to encourage you, instead of taking the lazy approach, which basically has you and a bunch of other people internally and externally spinning their wheels and then figuring it out through debriefing candidates what you really want, why not just take 15 minutes and instead of saying, could you see who you can get onto my calendar for Tuesday, could you send it to me for a quick review and I'll make a couple of tweaks to it and then you can try getting it out to our resources and see who you can get onto my calendar for Tuesday. Don't skip that step any more than you should skip the step that most of you skip of telling the people that are going to be involved in the interview process what you want them to evaluate for and how you want them to evaluate them uh, evaluate uh, the background for it. Now, I say that because often what happens is you involve people and you say, could you talk with them about such and such in their background? Or could you interview them about whatever it is skill that they have? But you don't tell them what it is about that skill you really care about. And thus, you're putting it on people who are not prepared to make decisions about who you should hire or who they should refer to you for further interviewing. Instead, tell them exactly what you want them to, to evaluate for. Give them a couple of ideas of how to do that, and then sit back and see how they evaluate. You can debrief them afterwards, get an idea of what it is that they asked, uh, asked in the course of the interview, and what reaction they got, and what they thought about the person as a result of that. But don't just send them on their merry way and tell them, talk with them about such and such like so many of you do. I hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. My website is TheBigGameHunter.us. Go to the site and go exploring. There's a lot there to help you with hiring, job search, management, leadership, and dealing with different workplace issues. There's also information about my books and guides. There's also a way that you can put yourself on my calendar if you're interested in me coaching you around any of those areas. Lastly, Connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. And I forgot to tell you, if this isn't the right time for you to go to my website, put a reminder in your phone you know, with my website address, TheBigGameHunter.us, and my name, Jeff Altman. And maybe in the notes field, you put a coach, something along those lines that reminds you uh, who I am and how to find me in your phone. Hope you have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great. Take care.